Hey guys, this is James White with Frequent Reviews, where I specialize in as seen on TV product reviews. Now today I'm pulling out five older items and comparing them to the same items bought on Wish.com. Let's check it out in today's video. I ordered six of these Wish items back in April. Only five of them arrived. One is still on the way almost two months later, but I figured five is a good number to start off with, so I'll hold that sixth one for another installment down the road. So let's get started with my five Wish versus store-bought items right now. Keep in mind that multiple vendors on Wish might sell the same product for different prices and different shipping. I chose these specifically because they use the actual As Seen on TV photo and the actual As Seen on TV name, just to be sure that I'm getting what they implied to be the original item. And in most cases, I don't think that was the case. All right, what I've done here is I've chosen products that use the actual name in the photos. Right here, that says Clear TV Key. There's a Hurricane Fur Wizard box, the Egglets box. So I think that most people who buy these would expect to get the actual item. Dial Vision, $4. True Touch Glove, $1.90. Dust Daddy. 380 clear tv key 190 hurricane fur wizard three bucks and egglets two dollars doesn't say how many i'm going to get quantity one I'm gonna, am i just going to get one it shows the box i guess we'll find out when it arrives who knows of june and this is april 26 i ordered all those things cool 29.60 All right, first up is the True Touch Pet Glove. I reviewed that one last year. It helps you de-shed your pet while you pet them. I think I paid about 15 bucks for it. The one I wish was $1.90. Even though there was a difference in materials, the difference in results were minimal. Check it out. All right, next up, we got the Wish version of the True Touch Glove. This is the True Touch Glove, which I reviewed back in early 17. It's a dog brush that allows you to de-shed them at the same time. Now here is the Wish version that I just got in the mail. Let's compare the two of those up close. It looks similar. The Wish one feels a little bit thinner and maybe a little bit cheaper than the True Touch version does. The padding, as I squeeze them, there seems to be much more padding in the True Touch than the Wish one. The Wish one doesn't seem to have any padding whatsoever. That seems to be the biggest difference. Bailey. First up, True Touch glove. I know you want to be the star of the show. Come on. Come here. See, with these kind of gloves, all you do is pet them and the hair should come off. Now the thing is, I don't find these to be as efficient as a regular de-shedding glove, but dogs seem to like it better because you're basically just petting them and they can sit there and let you pet them all day long. For deep de-shedding, I don't think it's really a solution, but I do think that it works pretty well when you're petting your dog and getting some of the, the hair off. So here's what the True Touch came up with. Now you're supposed to be able to peel it. Usually that works. In this case, it is working. There we go. Belly sneezing. Now, let's try the Wish version. Oh, I'm way thinner. I can actually see my hand through the back of the glove. Oh, it doesn't fit as well either. It's shorter. I feel like it barely fits over my hand. It's, it's a smaller glove. Much smaller. But just because it's thinner and smaller doesn't mean it won't work. Let's try it out. Come here. Bailey's doing a nice job. I'll, I'll try the other side of her back. First time I did kind of her this side, this time I'll do this side. Good girl. Yes, you like this. She's giving me this wistful look of love right in my eyes. Yeah. Put about the same amount of time and see what we come up with. All right, well look, even though it's cheaper, Bailey, get down. Bailey, get down. Bailey, get down. Even though it's more cheaply made and smaller, it does work about as well. So here's the True Touch glove and how much hair it got off. Here's the Wish glove and how much hair it got. It's very similar. So as far as the gloves go, I think that even though the Wish one is more cheaply made, it works about as well. For the price, not a bad option really. All right, Bailey? Let's see which one Bailey likes better. She doesn't like either one. Next. 
Right, next up is Dust Daddy, which is a vacuum cleaner attachment. I picked that one up, I think, for about $20. That allows you to pick up small particles and dust without picking up larger objects. Now, the one I got from Wish looked a lot different than the one I got in the stores, but surprisingly, the results weren't too different. Check it out. All right, let's see what this one is. This looks a lot like the Dust Daddy. I think it's slightly different. All right, next up, I've got the real Dust Daddy with the Wish Dust Daddy. Now, when I ordered the Wish Dust Daddy, I think it was about three bucks. It said Dust Daddy on it. It actually had a picture of Dust Daddy. And as you can tell, they are not the same thing. Look how much longer the Dust Daddy is. The Dust Daddy has this little slider here, which can allow you to tighten them up or let them be fanned out. This doesn't have anything like that. Fake Dust Daddy, real Dust Daddy. I think these seem a little bit better made. And again, this has universal attachment. It comes off. I guess that's what this is. Let's put them to the test and see how they compare. I'll do the same as I did last time. I put some coffee grounds in there because coffee grounds are easier to see than something like sugar or dust. And we can see how well they each do. Also keep in mind that the, even the Dust Daddy, it's only designed for dust. It's designed for very small particles, not for general cleaning of larger objects. So really, the Dust Daddy is for dust and not more than that. Just a little pinch of coffee. Got my Shark Ion Flex. I got Bailey down there too. All right, it's, it's working like I did. It's working about as well as it did in my first review. It's, it's picking up the coffee grounds and not picking up anything else, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, I think that did pretty well. That's, that's the actual Dust Daddy. Now for the fake Wish Dust Daddy. Well, that doesn't even fit on there very well. Okay. Pinch of coffee. Shark Eye and Flex with the fake Dust Daddy. Well, it seems like the fake Dust Daddy did about as well as the real Dust Daddy. Even though the real Dust Daddy is longer, it's better made, has a slider. And that test of just the coffee grounds, pretty close. This is about, I think this was $15 to $20. I'll have to double check. This was like three. Although this one I didn't see on there anymore. I think they took it off, but you get the idea. These fake ones may not look the same, but the basic functionality is about the same. I'm kind of surprised. I really hate to admit if a Wish one is as good as the original, but it kind of is. Sorry. Let's see what's next. Now the Hurricane Fur Wizard is next and that's an item I paid 20 bucks for. It's a lint brush that helps you get lint and pet hair off you and it has a base that actually removes the hair off of the brush. Now the one from Wish was a very different looking brush. I only paid $3 for that one. I was kind of disappointed there was no base because to me the base is what makes a Hurricane Fur Wizard special. As far as the lint brush goes, they actually perform pretty well. But without the base, it's kind of a difference to me. Here, check this out. What? Come on now. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. This is supposed to be the Hurricane Fur Wizard. Let me show you what the real one looks like. This is the Hurricane Fur Wizard. And it has this base that removes the hair from it. This is the one I just got from Wish. It's, it's puny and it doesn't have a base. All right, next up I got my somewhat pathetic Wish Hurricane Fur Wizard versus the real thing. Now this shirt tends to pick up lint and dog hair really badly and I've got Bailey who's shedding like crazy right now. She's a shedding machine. So let's see who can win the battle between Bailey and the two Fur Wizards. This one's worked pretty well for me. We'll see how this one does, especially without the base. What are you supposed to do with the hair? Let's try it out. First thing you have to do is get hairy. Let's do it. Come on, Bailey. Oh, good girl. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Good dog. All right. Oh, you like that, don't you? Oh, no. She's getting crazy. Oh, she's getting crazy on me. She's getting crazy on me. Okay. Okay, dog. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. That was a, that was a really bad idea. Good girl. Calm down. She's not calming down. She's actually grabbing onto my arms. This dog is crazy, man. 
So look what we got here. There is sleeve number one, plenty of hair on it. Sleeve number two, plenty of hair on it. Let's try the f Wish fake Hurricane Fur Wizard first. Oh, hey, it's getting the lint off and the dog hair. Hey, it's actually not working too badly as a lint brush. You're gonna have to pick the hair off though. Let's keep going with this. This just came off. Very cheap, very cheap. All right, well, you know what, this is actually working. But again, you're gonna have to, like, see there's, I don't know if you can see this or not, there's hair on here. I'm gonna have to just kind of pull that off, I guess. See him getting hair everywhere. And it's, there's no real way to clean the hair off, basically. Not too bad. Round two of the belly hair. Come here, belly. Good girl. Okay, come here. Oh, good girl. Oh, good dog. Okay, you love it. You're loving this. Lots of love. Lots of love. Okay. Now I gotta calm her down. Look at this. Look at this. She's fake biting my hand. Okay. Bailey. Well, come on now. There must be an easier way than this. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I'm, I feel pretty hairy right now. I've even got it on my face. I actually, I think I'm even hairier than the first time. But, pff, I really have hair on my face. But we got the hurricane for a wizard. I use this probably on a daily basis. So I'm not surprised with the results that it's getting the hair off. Every time I have to leave the house, I gotta swipe this over my clothing to get all of Bailey's hair off. All right, I, once again, I think it worked pretty well. Now here's the thing, I got, if you can see this, there's hair all across here. Now with the other one, I had to pick it off and it flew off. This one, I stick in the base. Stick in there a couple times, hair's gone. Like I said in my original review, the magic isn't in the lint brush, the magic is in the base that cleans it off. And then when you got a lot built up inside, in fact, I, I do, you pull it out, gone. I think this is a decent lint brush, but the magic of the Hurricane Fur Wizard is in the base that this does not include. Next, we have the Clear TV Key, which is a television antenna that's been advertised for years on television. I bought mine for 15 bucks in stores, and I bought the Wish version for $1.90. They're almost identical, not only in the design, but also in how well they work. Check this out. This is the Clear TV Key that I reviewed in early 2017. Here's the one I got from Wish. This is exactly how it came, in an envelope like this. Well, this one at least has instructions. Everything else from Wish I've ordered has not. It sure looks the same. Looks exactly the same. The type might be very slightly different, like with the word key, but I don't really see much, much else different about this. The only way I can really tell a difference is because this one's a little bit scuffed up from being older. The one from Wish also has these, which I may or may not need. But the next thing to do would be to try these both in the television and see how they compare. All right, here are the two clear TVs. This is the one I bought in the store, and this is the one from Wish. Very similar. The connector is slightly different because I had to add this one on. It came with it, though. But let's install the real Clear TV key and compare it to the Wish Clear TV key. So installing it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just screw it on to the antenna in. Keep in mind Clear TV key is just an antenna. You're just gonna pick up over the air channels in your area. You won't get cable channels. You'll get over the air channels. All right, let's see how it looks. Let's take a look at some of these channels here. Now again, the, how well these channels come in are gonna depend on your television reception, how close you are to the antennas, the towers but they look pretty good on this TV. This is the official Clear TV key. Now let's switch over to the Wish Clear TV key and see if there's any difference in reception. And now for the Wish Clear TV key. I'll go through the same channels. And once again, the picture looks 
pretty clear. I don't see any difference between the two clear TVs. I see no difference between the two clear TV keys. Seems like the signal is just as clear on both of them. I don't see a difference. Finally, we have egglets, which is a device which allows you to crack an egg, boil it, and have a hard-boiled egg without the shell. Now, it said egglets and showed the four-pack on the screen, but I only, it said quantity of one, but I wasn't sure if that was one four-pack or one egglet. Turns out it was one egglet. So I wanted to put it to test against a real egglet and did some soft-boiled eggs. Here's how that went. Now you can buy a four pack for about 10 bucks in the stores. The one I bought on Wish, I paid $2 for. I accidentally say $1 later on, but I paid $2 for it, so the price isn't that different. Neither is a design and neither is a function. Check it out. All right, let's see what this is. I'm gonna guess came from China. What is this? This is like an egglet. I only, I only got one. They're very similar. Very similar. I can barely tell a difference except for the logo on the top. Otherwise, they're virtually identical. But let's see how they perform. Let's check it out. All right, I've generously sprayed both of these with Pam, so now for the real egglet. Now for the Wish egglet. Also has been generously sprayed with Pam. They're both ready to go. The water's boiling, and let's put them in there. Okay, about 10 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Now we take them and put them in cool water for a couple minutes. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Here is the official egglet. Boom, oh, I got a little bit of shell in there. Sweet. Let's cut this open. All right, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Now it's time for the fake egglet. Did I say fake egglet? The wish egglet. Basically the same thing. So these are about, the official egglets are about 250 in the stores. These are about $1 in a wish. So they seem to function about the same to me. What do you guys think? Keep in mind that there are multiple vendors on there. Some may have the same item for different prices, different shipping. I chose them based on the ones that use the actual photo and the actual name because that's what I would expect to get. And in most cases, that's not what I got. So in the end, I spent about 30 bucks on all five of these products, which I would have spent about $100 if I had bought the store-bought version. What's surprising to me is that all of them worked pretty well, even though some of them didn't look like the originals. I guess it's one of those things kind of like a dollar store where you go there knowing that it's not really that great a quality but it still gets the job done anyway. I know Wish is kind of hit and miss but in this case most of them were pretty good. I think that I would have been happier if the Fur Wizard had a base to it but otherwise surprisingly they all held their own against the originals. Have you used Wish or any of these items? Tell me what you think in the comments below and please subscribe for more product reviews to me. James White, Freaking Reviews.